You wish you had more than one day here? <laughs> this is like a tease, right? Nice. What do we have planned next? Jetty Park. Jetty Park. Do you wanna do you wanna back up past it so like the you come right here. It's okay, it should be fine. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? What? Oh, that's the flesh the, valve. That's the flesh valve. It was orange. We made it. Yeah. Not a fun part. Not a fun part. So I'll give you a quick campsite tour. Now this campground is kind of no frills. You're really here for the experience. You're here for the location. You're right on the beach pretty much. Right next to all of the uh, terminals at Port Canaveral. Sites are kind of close to the right. We have a cabin here. This is site 220. Oh, 322. This is a, a situation right here. I think Maya showed you before the setup this is the after setup <laughs> view right here little humble spot you know this is just a uh, pretty much like a state park near Cocoa Beach this is our rear situation here I, I don't know if y'all see I set up the original grill that came with the RV we're gonna try that out so I don't have to carry around a blackstone everywhere and we have full hookups have not set up the sewer yet but uh we gotta cozy up to your neighbor here luckily on this side you know we don't have to close you up because we don't have a neighbor there's a cabin over here but uh it doesn't seem like anyone is staying there so we'll see how long that holds up but anyway yeah little humble site but it's walking distance to the beach so i will take you over there in a few so we can get some beach shots Wow, so the beach is literally right behind me. Our, our campsite is right there behind that fence. Here goes the beach boardwalk here. I see a uh, bathhouse over here too. It's the bathhouse. This must be the entrance to the beach. Hmm. All the ships are over here too. So this is Port Canaveral, so we're really close to uh, the port which you probably noticed <laughs> on our way in here from the b-roll this is where people jump on their ships to go on cruises and there's also cargo comes through here too welcome to jetty park yeah oh the air smells so good out here I got the crew with me right now. But we are here trying to find a fishing pier or a path to the fishing pier. A little bit lost. I think we're on the right path now. That's weird. Look like a spider for a minute. Okay, fishing piers that away. Maya wants to go fishing now. You see all the people fishing on the pier.
morning guys we are headed to do our morning workout on the beach hopefully it's not crowded it's kind of early so it shouldn't be it's around eight o'clock That's a wrap. I always feel like I'm about to throw up after we work out outside. <laughs> I got that on camera. Oh crap. <laughs> that means a good workout just happened. That's what that means. Whew. That was pleasant. I love working out on the beach. Alright y'all, we're headed back to the beach. We got some family hanging out with us right now. So uh, yeah, do a little beach bumming and uh, relax. So come along and check out Jetty Park. Beach time, baby. Let's see how this water feels. Woo, kind of cold. Thank you. Thank you. I said hot pink is my next one. I got a blue one and then black, but I was looking for hot. I always go with black, and I was like, this year I need to like pop a pop little. Pop it, yeah. yes. Yeah, it was like, it's kind of like where the, the those guys are. You know, that wasn't cool. far from here. So I really like that. Pretty much all the campsites have. Some kind of concrete pad like right here as you can see this one here like everything is level so it's pretty cool if you can get your whole rv on the pad then you won't have to worry about any leveling if you have a travel trailer right if you guys have a class a or or fifth way you don't have to worry about that right because y'all got those fancy hydraulic <laughs> leveling assistance but um people like us we got to do the basics so we didn't have to do that this time so i made my job a little bit easier this campground is really rusted, but the cool thing is it's steps away from the beach. You're just crossing a parking lot and then going directly onto the beach. Yeah, and then you get to see all the ships passing by and all that. That's pretty cool. Too. Yeah, you can hear the horns and, and all that jazz. So, you know, it's a different experience and it's low key. It's like everybody's just, you're beach bumming. Everybody's just like out having a good time. Yep and uh getting some sun and it's big rig friendly we are actually parked right next to two huge montana fifth wheels so um that's nice yeah you can yeah. get your big fifth wheels and class a's in here yep and if you're staying at the campground they all have keypad locks so really only campers hang out in there so you know you still have the public traffic coming in on a certain part of the beach but on the actual campground area, they're, they're gated. So you don't have to worry about like, you know. Foot traffic. Foot traffic, right. Yeah, and the other thing is, we like we were saying earlier, we got in really late last night. And when we got in, there was security driving around right. on the property, which is nice. So yes. it's really secure. Did you show this yesterday? Uh, I didn't really go in there. You want to go in there again? Might as well take a look. Fishing gear galore. Yeah, this is the little bait and tackle shop. They also have a little cafe in here. Yeah. It's cool. Little cafe over there. Pretty cool. Got some beer, a little beer section. Thank you. 
No, we didn't. We gotta show you our sticker wall that we started in the rig. So if you have stickers, we will swap with you. We have a lot. So if you have stickers and you wanna send them to us, we'll leave the address in the description box where you can send it, where you can send us an email actually. That's probably a little bit better and we'll send you the address. But yeah, we're starting to stick wall. I like the Salt Life stickers, even though it's not really specific. No, I want a Jetty Park sticker. But I want a Salt Life sticker. Okay. These um, rigs are still out here from yesterday. Interesting. That would be cool if we can park right there one day or one next time we come out here. I'd be willing to move. Interesting. So this is, this would be cool. How do we get over here? Look at this. Looks like they at least have water. Maybe it's water only. Oh, so can they run their generator? This is a game changer if we can get over here. So Maya just discovered something important that yeah this is a really cool spot but it's water only so yeah very unlevel terrain here so you're gonna have to play around with your leveling equipment and it's really hot here so if you're gonna be on a site like this you're not gonna be able to run your AC I don't even know if they let you run the generator but it's gonna be hot hot but you can get nice scenery. You get the sh shot of the yachts and the ships going across. This is probably a great spot for the winter because you really won't have to run your generator and then you can have your water for your showers and all that. And yeah, I don't know. But uh, these are sites basically in the teens up to the twenties. We're gonna head to the beach. Sure you get that vitamin D, y'all. Vitamin D really helps everything. Everything. Okay. It and your immunity, helps you protect yourself from yeah. environmental toxins that cause cancer. Yeah. I mean obviously wear your sunscreen. No matter how melanated you are. I wear sunscreen every day and I have been yeah. since in my twenties. If you've been blessed with melanin, that's good, but you still need additional protections. To protect you from those cancerous sun rays, radiate, radio, radiation, ultraviolet, ultraviolet rays, right? Rays. Ultraviolet. Yeah, I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> We're still recovering from our late night. Return. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your vitamin D, y'all. Most people, if you Google it, they say that most people are vitamin D deficient. Yeah. In this day and age, where everybody's more indoors yeah if you haven't been tested get tested and see what your levels are it should be above like roughly 35 i think i can't remember something to that effect but uh yeah. we've been living in florida for so long we were always outside and we were still deficient yeah which is right. wild so um so get outside and take multivitamins i don't want to turn this into a uh <laughs> a health session though we care about you guys we want you to keep watching <laughs> yeah we want to bore you to death though but we want to keep you alive. You can uh, live your life and enjoy yourself. And so you can live a relatively rich life. And live relatively rich. Good, good one. All right. Speaking of pigment, I'm really trying to get my pigment back around my wrist here. It's starting to come back. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is where I usually wear my, my watch. It seemed real deficient. So I'm like, that's why I, I switched it to my left side here. Then you're going to get wrist cancer? I put some black on. Sunscreen. Trying to uh, even everything out. I need to be walking out here butt naked. Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, is that why the men wear speedos? Probably. You get a tan on your butt. I could not walk around with you like that. What, what if you get a sunburn on your ass? Ooh, wow. that would be horrible. You ever get sunburn on your ass? Huh? I don't really burn easily. I've only some had sunburn twice. And that was when we were in the Bahamas and I fell asleep on the beach when I wasn't feeling well. And that was the first time I ever experienced sunburn, which is crazy because I was a big swimmer. I've been swimming since I was a little kid, so I was always in the pool. But I never had sunburn. I guess that sun was like super close. I don't know. But anyway, that was my first time experiencing it. And whew, I did not like that. Uh, I used to be like, oh, it can't be that bad. It hurts pretty bad. Oh yeah, it hurts. And then in Jamaica, I got sunburn. Why are we talking about sunburn? I don't know, because we're in the sun. 
picture. Yeah. You gonna poop right there? Right here. See there? He just he just dropped that. Thank you. So we're right here, right in front of the beach. Right in front of the campground, that away. As you can see the beach is that away. And uh, just to give you an idea of how far we are from the water, I'm gonna do a little time lapse. And Maya will keep track of the time. Just, you know, give you a well-rounded idea of what it's like. And Maya, how long did it take us to get back? Oh, shoot. Well, it's been seven minutes and we were washing up for so, a while. So, five minute walk. Yeah, probably four minutes, to be honest. Yeah. We've so, washing up for a while. if you're a beach bummer, like we like to do, this yeah. might be a good option for you. You know, if you don't need all the glamp. Right. You know, all the I glamp mean, all the time. You I know, should. glamp is nice. Yeah. But not, I don't need that all the time. You can, I mean, this is still pretty much glamping if you have your tent. Yeah, look, I mean, I'm, look at our setup. I mean, I'm just saying, yeah, the, the, the site is minimal. Right, right. Other than the concrete pad, everything else is pretty full hookups. minimal. That makes it glamp. I don't think that I glamp think. is like the fireplaces, the the pavered, uh, decked out pavered areas with the grills. That, yeah, that's it's glamp. Not it's not resort style, but right, that's I feel like it's still me, that's, pretty much glamping. I don't know, guys. I don't do you agree. Think this is glamping or not? Yeah, put it in the comments. <laughs> Who's right, her? I feel like this is glamping. Or me, okay? I think I'm right. This is glamping. I'm sorry. 